vector layers are extremely useful when you want to have the ability to turn off specific vectors from view or machine to a specific layer. In this example, I have created a simple cabinet design which has four layers. The default layer, which has nothing in it, the outside vectors, which are colored green, window, which is colored orange, and recess, which is a blue color. I can also use the light bulbs on the right hand side to turn the visibility of these on or off. To create vector layers, you can select the plus symbol, which is next to the light bulbs on the vector layers, or right click on vectors and select new. You can also select the vectors that you wish to move to a new layer, in this case the outside vectors, right click on them and select from the dialog to move vectors to. You can then select a new layer. This will then create a new layer which will be called, in this case, vector layer 2. I can right click on this and rename it to outside. I can also select the black color to the left which will open up a color palette where I can choose the color I would like the vectors to be. This will change the color of the vectors currently in that layer. The same can be done for the window layer and also for the recess layer. All of the vectors will then be associated with specific layers. This is not only useful for designing but also useful when machining which we'll discuss in a later video.